Well, we're over halfway into the season now. I'm surprised as you are. Very surprised. We're halfway into the NFL season. Um, tonight we got the Ravens and the Dolphins. I'm sure that's going to be uh, a, thir a, a usual Thursday night football slugfest in which things go wrong as they usually do. Big news today, but we'll talk about that when we get to that specific game. Um, now the Saints are going up against the Titans to start Sunday. Um, going to be an interesting matchup here. You know, you got the Saints. You know, don't have James Winston anymore. Taysom Hill. I'm not sure if he's still injured or not. Um, the Titans are riding high. I've got to tell you that much. I mean, I mistakenly tweeted the other day on Sunday night that Adrian Peterson ran for 100 yards, and that is that was totally not true. When he ran for like 20 yards and a touchdown, but it felt like it felt like. It felt like the Titans were, you know, just running all over the Rams. And could the same thing happen to the Saints? Could the Saints get caught off guard in this game, you know? You know, I, I genuinely don't know. The Titans really just looked so much better, you know. I've been criticizing the Titans for looking just kind of inconsistent. But here they have these last couple of performances, especially on defense, just making it look, making it look good out there. How will the Bills rebound? You know, Mike White is back for the Jets, so um, I don't know how this is going to go. Because, I mean, the Bills lost to the Jags last Sunday. And again, any given Sunday in the NFL. And now the Patriots are creeping. They're creeping up on the Bills. You know, everybody thought early this year that the, this is going to be the Bills division, the AFC East. But things are starting to creep up on them. We'll see how this game goes. Lions, Steelers, um... Will the Lions finally get a win? I genuinely don't know. There, there there's, there's got to be some hope for Lions fans. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll see what Jared Goff and, and and the Lions can do because I mean, again, you know, the Steelers they've been very inconsistent. Like this is, I don't know how the Steelers are over 500, but they are they are very inconsistent, very inconsistent team. You know, Big Ben and company just not getting it done. And Mike Tomlin can you know. He, 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 I mean, this dude was like earlier this week. Oh, I support the taunting call in that Bears game. Stop it. Get out of here with that. No, you don't. You definitely don't support taunting. If it happened to your team, if it happened to the Steelers, if it happened to somebody on the Steelers, let's say Najee Harris or something like that was taunting, you know, you would be all over that, saying how wrong it is. Get out of here with that, man. How will the Jags do against the Colts? Now, the Colts maybe, maybe have a little bit of momentum going. It's understandable that they might not. Jags riding high, man. You know, I mean, if they could keep that type of stuff up, that type of defensive performance up, I mean, things are looking good for Sunshine, Trevor Lawrence, and the company. I mean, you know, again, they could they could get off a little winning streak here if they beat the Colts. I mean, the Colts have been, you know, with Carson Wentz and company, you know, things just haven't gone as well as things have been, you know. I'm still surprised the Colts are even in the AFC South race at this point. But I mean, you know, there's still plenty of time for the Colts. You know, I'm pretty sure a lot of people are going to expect the Jags to lose. You know, like 95% of people are going to expect the Jags to lose. How about the Bucks the, coming back from a bye week? Tom Brady and those Tampa Bay Buccaneers taking on the Washington football team in in um, Washington. Yeah. Um. I don't really have a lot to say about this one, you know. I mean, you you know the Bucks have weapons, you know. Um, I mean, they they just have weapons everywhere, you know. And I mean, things you know things continue to look pretty good for the Bucks. Yeah, they got blindsided a couple weeks ago by the Saints, but I mean, again, any given Sunday in the NFL, um, I, I really don't know what the Bucks need to work on because I haven't watched a lot of Bucks games this season. That's the that's the magic of Tom Brady. Um, just me not watching a lot of Bucks games. That that's really that's how it was when he was in New England. That's how it is now. Just I just don't particularly care to watch a lot of Bucks games. I just do not. Browns Patriots is going to be interesting though. I really think so. You know, with the way Bill Belichick has got this defense going, the Patriots Browns. You know, their defense is improving now that Baker Mayfield is. You know. He doesn't have to throw to Odell Beckham anymore. Speaking of Odell, he's on um, 
he's a free agent, so he can just sign anywhere. I don't know where he's going to sign, but um, yeah, this one's gonna this one's gonna be interesting, a really int intriguing matchup here. Um, gonna be looking at this game for sure. Of course, you already know. You know I got you know I got the blanket on with the with the team star. If I can get a star, yeah, yeah, yeah. let me show the stars on. Yeah, you already know. You already know. How about them Dallas Cowboys, baby? The one up against the Falcons. Matt Ryan and the Falcons who are surprisingly at 500. I'm I'm shocked too. I'm shocked that they're at 500 too, man. Um, you know, dangerous tight end by the name of Kyle Pitts. Y'all may know that name. You know, and I mean things have been going pretty well for the Falcons lately. Again, somehow they're 500. You know, despite the fact that their defense gives up a lot, a lot of, you know, a lot of leads. They give up a lot of leads, and that's, you know, it's not pretty. And, I mean, remember last year when this game happened? Yeah. Falcons choked it away in one of the worst ways imaginable. Cowboys just trying to get it back, just trying to get back into form. You know, I think last week caught them off guard. You know, this was not a good week last week. Not a good week last week with the Cowboys. I mean... <sighs> it was rough. It was rough out there, you know. You know, Dak came back, but things it, it 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 was definitely not an attack by the Cowboys. It was definitely not a Dak attack by the Cowboys last week. We'll see if they can do that this week. Um, we get into this um, later portion of games here, and guess who's back? Cam, Super Cam. He's back on the Panthers, baby back on the Panthers. I'm not sure if DeAndre Hopkins and Kyler Murray are back for the Cardinals this week. Um, it, seem, it seems like he will. I'm not sure if... Yeah, I'm still not sure if um, Hopkins is going to play. You know, uh, there's a couple of there's a couple of injuries for the for the Cardinals too, with some other injuries like Rondell Moore too. Um, I mean, you know, things have been looking. I mean, despite the fact that the Cardinals lost a couple weeks ago to the Green Bay Packers, I mean, you can steamroll the 49ers like that. Then I mean, man, the season's gonna be looking real good for them. It'll be looking real good for the Cards. Let me tell you. This one's going to be an interesting one here, I think, you know. Um, Vikings Chargers, I really, I, I really don't know about, you know, what the Vikings are going to do, you know. The way things have been for the Vikings, they are the NFL version of Nebraska. Just a lot of close games with a lot of ineptitude under Mike Zimmer. Just a lot, a lot of times where it seems like the Vikings should have a winning record. The Vikings should at least be over 500 now, but they're not. Chargers looking to keep rolling. You know, the AFC West is becoming, you know, what we thought the NFC West would be. You know, a, a gauntlet, and it's and it's turning out to be, you know, a battle in the AFC West. We'll see we'll see what happens, you know, we'll see what happens with this game, you know, Justin Herbert versus Kirk Cousins is gonna be an interesting one. You know. Seahawks Packers. Now Russell Wilson should be back in this game. If not, I, I genuinely don't know. There's still the whole controversy with the um with the whole thing with Aaron Rodgers. It does not it does look like he might be back in this game. I do not know. He's still got to do the protocols and stuff like that, which is like Ted Days. So we could see Russell Wilson versus Aaron Rodgers again. If not, it's going to be Jordan Love. You know, and that's just the way it is for the Packers. I'll, I will see what happens on Sunday. We'll see. Um, Eagles, Broncos. Now the Broncos, I don't know how they're over 500. They could continue to win right here because the Eagles have not beaten an AFC West team yet. They've gone 0-3. Lost to the Chiefs, the Raiders, and the Chargers. So this could be a clean sweep for the Broncos. I mean, they've beaten they've beaten everybody in the AFC East. This could be a clean sweep, you know. And looking to Jalen Hurts to continue to improve. It seems like it seems like the Eagles have found something for him. But again, I just don't know how effective you know the Eagles have been because I mean that defense is still pretty bad. Defense of the Eagles is still that bad. You know, if the Broncos could pick apart the Cowboys, imagine what the Broncos could do against this Eagles defense, you know, with Teddy Bridgewater at the helm, at quarterback. 
Now here's an interesting one on Sunday night. It's going to be the Chiefs. It's going to be the Raiders. Both these teams are just... Uh, I, I genuinely don't know. Like, the Chargers and the Broncos have been, you know, they've been... They've been looking okay. They've been looking pretty consistent, you know. Broncos consistently beating bad teams, you know, and the Cowboys. Chargers, you know, doing what they do, continuing to, you know, put up good performances, and make good games out of things. But the Chiefs and the Raiders, on the other hand, Chiefs, they just look bad. Like, Patrick Mahomes, I believe he still leads the league in interceptions. And, I mean, Chiefs just looked so terrible on offense last week. Like, Defense got it done, you know, because it was against Jordan Love. But I mean, this is a different. This is a different week, you know. This isn't the. This isn't the same type of thing now. And the Raiders have had so much off the field trauma. It hurts. It hurts. It really hurts. Dude, last week I forgot his name already. I keep forgetting his name. I'm gonna keep forgetting his name until I forget it. Because I mean, I don't think he was anybody special. Uh, dude, waving around a handgun. You know, you got Henry Ruggs killing somebody in a DUI uh, drunk driving accident. You got John Gruden with the whole, you know, emails. Racist, sexist, misogynist, you know, emails. All sorts of different things going on for the Las Vegas Raiders. This should be an interesting, intriguing game on Sunday night. I cannot wait for this because this is going to be terrible. I can guarantee you this game is going to be terrible because, I mean, the Raiders looked terrible last week against the Giants. How do you lose against the Giants? Huh? How do you lose against the Giants? You don't. You don't do that. Meanwhile, we got Monday night, too. Uh, I mean, I really don't know what... what Kyle Shanahan and the 49ers are going to do now. I mean, it seems like the 49ers are trying to make some strides, but I, I just don't know. Like the Rams, they're trying to they're trying to get back, you know, over the saddle after you know last week's abysmal performance, and I think they could do that. Right? The 49ers just have not looked good on offense. They it seems like they've given up on defense at times too. I mean, it's just it's just not there. It's just not there for the 49ers this year. It's just not. They got injuries too. I know. I mean, things have just not looked very well for the Niners and the Rams. You know, I'm not sure. You know how things are going to go for them because I mean, you know, again, it was a lot, it was a bad game last week. They they probably should. They probably should bounce back, but I mean, I don't know. This is the NFL, remember. Remember that. This is the NFL. Things go crazy all the time. So yeah, that's pretty much it for, you know, my thoughts on this week. Again, I'm surprised that Cam Newton is back. That's really my biggest takeaway from getting into this week is that Cam Newton is coming back. And I can't wait to see, you know, what these games are going to offer us on Sunday. Um definitely going to be tuning in all day Sunday. It's going to be a hell of a, it's going to be one hell of a day on Sunday. I could guarantee you that. So, I hope y'all enjoy Sunday. I'm not sure who unsubscribed in the last couple days. Why? Come back, please. Um, <laughs> and I'll see you all late Saturday night into early Sunday morning for that college football recap, baby. I'll see you then.